Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. And for some reason, I'm feeling motivated to get back to the fundamental basic supersizing business strategies that almost all businesses need and require or can use to grow and build and supersize their business. I call this one number three because I've I've done the last couple of days, I've picked a fundamental basic thing and it's coming from working with people and different clients and realizing that key fundamental foundational blocks are missing from their current business strategies. And if you don't have these, it makes it really, really challenging to build your business higher or get better and ever increasing supersizing results because there's a little chink in your armor. There's a little brick missing in your foundation. So I think for the next 30 days or so, we are going to cover a foundational business strategy that you can use to supersize and grow your business. It's just kind of like a checklist to say, do I have these building blocks in my strategy? And if not, is it now the time to add them? The answer is pretty much always yes, if it's a foundational block that we're missing. So I want to share an exercise today called the seven whys exercise. And I learned this as the five whys exercise to motivate ourselves and to understand what makes us tick as individuals, but it also applies to supersizing and growing our business. And in 2020, I believe January 2020, I was uh, participating in a Dean Graciosi training, loved Dean, followed him for literally decades. Uh, and he was sharing that he had learned in this high level mastermind, the use of the seven Y exercise instead of five. And he mentioned his skepticism that he he had learned the five Y exercise too and thought, hmm, is t- asking why two more times really gonna make a difference? And I will echo with him, I was super skeptical when I first started using this tool versus the five Ys, but asking why a couple more times really digs down into our core motivation, our core drivers, our core reasons for doing things. Now, I will share a a caveat that I tell everyone when it comes to asking the question why. If you ask why you do something seven times, it's extremely powerful and it allows us to understand ourselves better or our businesses better or what drives us to create what it is that we want to create in the world. If you ask why of other people, why do other people do things? Why do other businesses do things? Why does the government, why does anybody outside of you do things or your business do things? You're going to get frustrated and disappointed because a lot of the time, those people even don't know, don't even know why they're doing something. They just do it because they think it's the next thing that they should do or ought to do or want to do to get a result. And a lot of times, if you don't think through your motivation, you'll make choices that lead you down the wrong path. Uh, and the vast majority of the world, the vast majority of businesses, that's how they're run. They do things because that's the way it's always been done in their industry, which is one of my most dreaded statements to ever hear. Well, that's the way we've always done it. Oh my God, do we have work to do on a, a foundational level. So seven why exercise, I would say the question for today would be, why do I want to supersize my business? Why do we want to supersize this business? And then ask yourself, well, what's the first thing that pops into your head? Then ask why about that? What's the second thing? Ask why about that? And actually do it at least seven, or if you're super brave, or if you haven't gotten down to the core reason and a really powerful driving motivator, ask a few more whys. I use this exercise every month at least once for sure, uh, but sometimes much more often. Really, more often, this is once for sure in my businesses, but for other people's businesses, we ask it all the time because that's how you get at your unique value proposition. That's how you get at what makes you and your business special is what motivates you and drives you. It's also the thing that will keep you going whenever roadblocks or challenges or setbacks pop up because you have a strong reason for why you want to do things. When I do this with respect to business, mine almost always boils down to because I want to make the world a better place in some way, shape or form. I want to leave a legacy and know that because I was here, it positively impacted the world and made a difference. Everybody doesn't have that. That's not what it comes down to for everybody, but that's what it comes down to for me personally. Uh, almost every time I do this exercise with respect to my businesses and with respect to my life, right? I want to make sure that I'm making the world a better place for my children and my grandchildren. All right. So that's our challenge today. I don't know if you signed up for a challenge listening to a Supersize Your Business uh, video or podcast, but I just am really feeling like it's important, especially when the world is kind of crazy and turbulent, 
that we get back to the basics and we make sure that our foundation is solid and then we build upon that. So today, I guess is day three. And then for the next 30 or so days, I'm going to share foundational strategies and why I think they're important for us as we're building and growing and supersizing our business. Love to hear your take on this. Share in the comments below. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow, apparently with another fundamental business strategy, a supersizing our business strategy. See you tomorrow.